Hey guys, okay, we're gonna do uh, a little more on the transform distribution server. How easy and, and quick it is to, to set up your own transform and to share it with people and have them use your stuff, you know, very quickly with it, you being able to update it and everything else that we've spoken on. So I've set up um, on my machine that's outside our network, that's uh, on the internet, I've set up a basic transform. Um, I've connected into the server. You can see that it's running, uh, it's running on my box, um, andrewmog.com. Um, essentially it's a it's a very small script you can see here uh, it's just going to get the value uh, there is a Multigo library that is available fully documented uh, I'm not going to get into it now um, then I'm basically going to return an entity it's going to be a phrase you can see here and it's going to have a value of whatever was passed in so whatever you've added from the client um, and it's going to add two exclamation marks and then just return it out um, you can see we can we can actually browse to this transform uh, you can see I'm going to browse to it now. Obviously, it's just going to say Andrew's transform uh, because of the way the code is set up. That it says, okay, there's no value coming in, so it's it's not actually going to run anything. So first, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get to our transform distribution server. And there's a URL available. Um, we're just going to log in. We're going to be using uh, Ruloff's account. Uh, you can register easily. It's basically you know a simple form, username, email address. Uh, and a capture. I'm gonna gonna put this one in, and I'm gonna log into to my transform distribution server. Okay, here you can see we've we've logged into it. Um, there's three basic sections available. Those are your transforms. So these are the actual transforms that you have available. Seeds, which I described before, are basically the containers for your transforms uh, and how they're going to be shipped around. And then transform settings, which are are various settings that you can use within your transforms. Um, so we'll go into seeds first. Uh, when you first register, there will be a seed that's created for you, a default seed. You can add your own with your own uh, custom URI. Um, I'm not going to edit this one or delete it. Uh, we're just going to use this default seed this, uh, for this example. Uh, then settings, which we'll get into at a later stage and how to use those and what they can do for you. Um, and then transforms, which are what we're going to work on now. So we've already set up our code over here uh, that takes in whatever it gets. Uh, returns it as a phrase with the two exclamation marks at the end. So you can see here we've got no transforms and nothing available in the public seed. And we're going to say add transform. Um, it looks like quite a lot of uh, quite a lot to fill in, but it's really quite simple. Basically, we're going to just put in here uh, the our transform name. So in this case, we're going to call it sample transform. You can see I've done this before. Uh, we're going to put in our URL, which is this one. Uh, so I'm just going to copy that out put it in here. Uh, then the input entity is quite important. Uh, this is the entity that it's going to work on. So in this case I'm going to work on uh, say a domain but I could work on anything and if you've created your own custom entities you'll just have to put in that name uh, into this block over here. So you can see here this one says rt.entity name but obviously in your case uh, whatever you'd, you'd called it. Uh, I'm just going to use one of the ones that we already have available. I'm going to use a domain can see here it's populated that with Multigo.domain. I'm going to have to add a disclaimer. Uh, obviously since these transforms um, are running somewhere else and not on Perturva infrastructure, we need a disclaimer just to say, hey look, you know you're running code that's not on our on our uh, machines. See, so, yeah, I'm just going to say, uh, please, uh, please note this is proof of concept only. Okay, then you can add a description just basically to tell people what your transform does. This one is going to be adds to exclamation marks to the end of the domain and returns it as a phrase. Uh, you can have a version. Author is obviously the email address you registered with. Debug option, which is really useful for when you're creating transforms. Uh, basically, it'll tell you what the output is, uh, if you've done anything wrong. Um, and then transform settings. Obviously, we have none at the moment. So we're not going to be we're not going to be using any of those. And then the seeds, um, as I said before, those are the containers for your transforms. So in this case, we've only got a default. But if you had like teams that you were developing these for, you could put them into into these various containers or seeds. And we're just going to use the default. And then we're just going to say add transform. And there you can see successfully inserted sample transform. So now we have our transform available, um, and it's within our container or our seed. So we're going to go back there, 
and we're going to click on seeds and you're going to see here here's my default seed uh, I can actually view what transforms are available in it here it just says I've got sample transform which is the only one I'm going to copy this so remember this is the this is the link to your specific container uh, this is what you're going to give to to your teams and whoever you want to use the transform uh, then you're going to go into your client or they will whoever is using this you're going to say discover transforms I'm going to call this um, sample seed I'm going to paste the URL in add it and then just go through the wizard and you'll see here it's found it uh, that's the name that we've given to it obviously you'll probably use a better name when describing what it is and then you'll see it's found our sample transform and there's a description uh, of what it is that we filled in before so next finish and our transform will be available to us so we're just going to start a create a new graph here uh, I'm going to drag a domain because remember this is the the entity that we that we picked that it should run on I'm going to click on it I'm going to select that I want to run our, our sample transform on this domain and there it goes and uh, it's returned with our phrase perturba.com and the two exclamation marks so what's basically happened here is that you've selected the entity you're running on uh, you've told it that you're running against the the TDS the the transform that you've set up it's then sent that to the server that you've created and that has returned your what it, whatever it has in this case the phrase with the two exclamation marks so yeah that's how simple it is to to create a transform uh, and share it with everyone and uh, of course you can you can now update this transform and as soon as you update it everyone else will immediately be able to see those results okay thanks there that was it this is it yeah um